What is going on my Super Sandwiches? Rhymestyle here and today I got a quick video for you guys, but this is major breaking news in regards to Dragon Ball Z Rush 2 and DLC Pack 6. So as you guys know, there's a huge leak uh, that was revealed yesterday by Dana Miners in regards to DLC Pack 6, which revealed Jiren, potentially Fu, which is Toa Mira's son, and a bunch of other content. If you want to see those videos, I will link all that in the description below so you guys can catch up. But we have something else. This is a big one. Super Saiyan Blue! Yes, folks, Super Saiyan Blue, aka SSGSS, for custom created avatars. Well, technically for Saiyans only. I don't think there's anything in regards to the other races. I know in previous games like Dragon Ball Heroes, they had like a godly transformation type of thing for all the races, such as the uh, the, the Red Eyed Namekians and stuff like that. But for right now, Super Saiyan Blue will be available for CACs in DLC Pack 6. Now, at first I thought, well, maybe this is something that they must have tested out at some point and just left out and scrapped before the release of the game. However, this is new data. So if they're experimenting with this and it was just recently added as part of like blueprints for a future release, then what else would it mean other than the fact that DLC 6 will also give us the Super Saiyan Blue transformation for the same characters in the game. Oh, and by the way, we also have visuals. Well, sort of. Uh, I'll explain sort of why in a second, but first and foremost, I want to say a big shout out to Synex on Twitter. If you want to follow him, I will have that tweet also linked in the description below. So go check it out, follow him, say hello, all that good stuff. So what Synex actually found is he found files in the game, apparently, that makes your hair go blue and has a blue aura. However, there's no animation for it. So basically what he did just to test it out to see what it actually does is he added or potential potential unleash. That's why in the actual gameplay you're seeing the potential unleash animation, but when the tr transformation is done, the character has blue hair and a blue aura. So as of right now, it seems to be a work in progress. There's no animation on that, none of that yet. When the transformation actually comes out, it most likely won't look like this or do this animation. It's just the reason why it's doing this in this video is because, again, when, it, when the files were found, they were added over potential unleashes to see what actually happens. And as you can see, the hair goes blue and the SSG SS aura uh, pops up around your CAC. Now, unfortunately, this is all I can tell you. You have no other information as of right now. I have no idea what kind of drain it will do, how much of a boost you'll get, whether it's going to take key or stamina. I know none of that stuff. Literally all the data miners found was the fact that there's a transformation that's completely incomplete, no animation yet, not even textures, and when you transform, it gives you the SSG, SS aura, and blue hair. And for all we know, this might not even come out. I mean, this is just basically files. But then at the same time, if they were to scrap it, they probably wouldn't have added it in recent code. So that only makes me believe that it's yet to be finished. To be released! So with that said, what do you guys think? Are you excited about Super Saiyan Blue or not? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Now the only question I have right now is, is how is this going to bounce out across the other races? Like, are Saiyans going to continuously keep getting stronger and stronger? Or are the Namekians, the Majins, the Freezer race, and the humans going to get some kind of equivalent? Because again, as I mentioned before, in the past game in Dragon Ball Heroes, they had like a godly state slash transformation across the board. So like, are we going to see something like that? Or is this just going to be Saiyans for now? I don't really know. With that said, also let me know your thoughts on that. Is this like good or bad? Feel free to discuss it all down below. But other than that, that's everything. So the second I find out any other information that pops out in regards to DLC 6 and the future of Xenoverse or just drama games in general, I got you back. So make sure you stay tuned, subscribe if you're new here, and I will keep you guys in the loop. But other than that, that's all. Again, much love to Cinex. His Twitter will be in the description below. Komodo and Zanki and everybody else has been helping out. I have all the Twitters in the description below as well, and we'll take them from there. Hope you guys enjoy us today slash night. My name is Rhyme Style. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.